This is the this is the song for the first part of the chant. First chant. Leo Doki Pasok, Colombia, Venezuela. Hola niti, hola niti, para niti, para niti. Simke, Antaiti, Vascolia, Silimpo, Lipia, Peru, Anapas, Baracoa, Magdalena, Erico, Erico, Liankara, Bukala, Makala, Takasin, Cinco, Takasin, San Francisco, Urki, Leo Coruro, To, Camara, Mwey. My name is Sepri Yakana. I'm from a small island in the middle of Western Pacific Ocean called Pingalat. Pingalat is part of a bigger state called Pompeii in the country of the Federated States of Micronesia. I started learning uh, Pinglavi stick dance at the early age of like nine years old. In fact, one of the first Peace Corps volunteers came to the islands. That's when I was young and I saw the older boys learn the dance and uh, to form before that as a welcoming uh, event for the Peace Corps volunteers. So tried to learn it and uh, and then when I went to high school there's an annual uh, show it's called variety show where different groups of uh, students from different villages or islands they get together and they you know just compete for the uh, show but that thing like this uh, warrior stick dance uh, almost came out uh, number one most of the time <laughs> Being like this warrior stick dance is originally, you know, way, way back then when the islands were not introduced to the Western world yet. What they told us is that they were used to practice to develop their fighting skills. In 1986, the Micronesian Islands became the compact of free association uh, relationship with the United States. But prior to that, after the Second World War, Micronesia was uh, trust territories of the Pacific Islands, which uh, the United States government is the governing uh, identity over these islands after the Second World War. After the Federated States of Micronesia came into effect, the citizens of, they call it FSM, Federated States of Micronesia, can come to the United States and go to school without the visa requirement. They just need their passport. So, for example, myself, I joined the military and we were in Germany two times and all over in the United States, Oklahoma. And as I go from post to post, I see they have uh, cultural days, like uh, May is uh, Asian Pacific Island Day. And I go attend some of the festivities and events, and uh, I see you know, a lot of the groups, they have they perform their traditional dances. And uh, I feel like I need to teach my kids to learn this so that they can identify, you know, if they somebody asks, where are you from originally? And they say Micronesia. And if they ask them about Micronesia, there's nothing they can associate with. We've gone back a couple of times to the islands, but as far as traditions is concerned or culture, these things could be lost. <laughs> The goal of these videos is to be able to uh, teach Micronesians or the Pinglapis or any group how to perform this dance, the Pinglapis warrior stick dance. It makes me feel good that there's something that I can pass uh, 
to my children and my grandchildren. And I hope someday they pass it on to their children and grandchildren. And they remember who they are. Because, you know, sometimes identity is important.